Therefore, we have a lot of toxic things in our cleaning and personal care products. And we, it's on us to take charge and look at the ingredients. Things you never knew about cleaning. It's Hunt for Wellness, episode number 79. Hello and welcome to Hunt for Wellness. I am John Hunt. And I'm Christy Hunt. And this is the show where we help you live your best life, mind, body, and spirit. And this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines that provide great water for your great wellness. Check it out at waterdistillers.com. You mean to tell me that there's something I don't know Yes. Being the know-it-all that I am. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Yes. Well, we're going to find out some, well, it's probably because I don't clean as much as I should. That's it probably. That's one of the things. But uh, all right. Well, you know, today's show, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about cleaning and what you don't know. Okay. About cleaning. So uh, <laughs> what don't I know? <laughs> just Just dish it out right now. Come on. Okay. So people think that. You know, cleaning products are cleaning products and they're great, yeah. you know, to use to just get clean, but they can actually have really bad things in them, mm-hmm. really toxic ingredients. And unfortunately, our government has rules, but they don't really cover these things. And they're pretty flexible rules like yeah. uh, this thing that's really bad for you can go in there, right? Yeah, they had this to- Toxic Substance Control Act in the 1970s and what they did was grandfathered in all these chemicals before <laughs> Ooh, so many good. things did not have to get evaluated yeah. so um so we therefore we have a lot of toxic things in our cleaning and personal care products and we it's on us to take charge and look at the ingredients right. to make sure what they are. So I just wanted to help people understand what is in some of them right? and why they should be concerned about them. Well, too, you know, I think people believe, because I know we're going to talk about maybe some alternatives that are a lot more healthy and cleaner, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. But people like just believe that uh, you need to have bad chemicals or you need to have the certain chemicals in order to get something clean and that's just not true no it's not true you can use uh things that are easy on the body and also get things clean okay all right so um formaldehyde do you know anything about formaldehyde that what they put dead bodies in or Uh, something yes they do But it sure cleans well. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. That doesn't sound really good to me. It's a preservative. Ugh. And it's in lotions and cosmetics and me. baby wipes. Ay, ay, ay. It's actually a known carcinogen, and carcinogen means causes cancer. Yes, which we don't want. Absolutely. Oh, that's terrible. I know. And it can cause skin and respiratory problems. So you you do definitely want to avoid formaldehyde. Right. I think isn't formaldehyde for, formaldehyde what you when you remember when you were in like elementary or junior high school and you, cl- you collected the like the butterflies and the birds and you wanted to put it, pin them on the board didn't you have to put them in a uh, jar that had formaldehyde in it? Oh, I don't know what you did, but in our homeschool, yeah, we did. Um, Nail polish remover. Okay. We well, put a cotton ball of nail polish remover. <laughs> you can tell you that's it, it probably has formaldehyde. Too. Yeah. I was going to say, no, you know, those uh, butterflies just sit there and ooh, <laughs> they're perfect form because they like go out right away. All right. Sorry for that Poor diversion things. there. But uh, yeah, I don't think from formaldehyde, it just relates to death. I know. I don't <laughs> On know. All counts. Not good. Okay. Okay. Phthalates, and it started spelled with a P. Oh. P H T H A L A T E S. Phthalates. 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 It's pronounced. Okay. 
and it's used to make plastic more durable. Hmm. It also functions as a solvent and stabilizes perfumes and cosmetics. So it's found in many plastic and vinyls and in cosmetics. And it can affect your endocrine system, which is like your also your reproductive system because um, your thyroid and can potentially cause cancer. That doesn't so, sound good. And people might think, oh, you know, I just use a little bit of this cleaning stuff. It doesn't really matter. Or a little bit of this makeup. But then you put on makeup day after day after yeah. day after day and you clean time after time after time. You're getting this stuff into your system repeatedly. Well, they say, well, I wear gloves, up. but you're breathing it in. Right. It gets in there right away. We know exactly. that. Exactly. Hmm. Okay. Then there's volatile organic compounds or VOCs. Yes. VOCs. Which are gases emitted into the air, and they can be in, like, building materials. Like, think about a new home, like how it smells and paints and um, gasoline. You smell gasoline when you're at the gas pump. Well, do you know this from our sponsor, waterdistillers.com, that Mm -hmm. water distillers have a volatile organic compound compound, uh, release system. Oh. So that gets those get taken out as part of the distillation process. Oh, cool. So it's even in your water. Wow. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Yeah. That's a big concern. And just really common products that we have, um, like permanent markers. Mm-hmm. You know, have you oh, ever yeah. used those permanent markers and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm getting a headache from well, this. Well, I can smell them. Yeah, without Just I thinking know. about it, you know. I know. But it, does, it makes me feel bad. Oh, yeah. You get a headache. And glue mm-hmm. and things. So they can cause... I, I nose throat irritation, difficulty yep. breathing, can make you nauseous. Yikers. I know. So uh, even some can cause cancer. So we want to avoid those. You do. <laughs> mm. uh, sodium lauryl sulfate. Have you ever heard of that one? Yes, because I you mentioned it in one of our other podcasts. <laughs> I can't remember which one, but I just remember that. And it helps suds things up. Oh, yeah, that's right. And clean. Mm -hmm. People Um, want to see those bubbles, don't they? Yeah, bubbles are so important. I'm sure the bubbles do all the cleaning. (laughs) What was that one they called it? Scrubbing bubbles? Eh, I don't think so. (laughs) Yes. So this can be found in like laundry detergents, spray cleaners, dishwasher detergents, Mm -hmm. dish soap, a lot of things. And they cause irritation to the body. Yeah. Um, They're toxic to the body. So it's something to avoid. But according to our government, they're all legal. They're not <laughs> they, illegal. They are legal. Yeah. But it doesn't mean they're good for you. Right. And they don't have harmful effects. All right. And feel free to go search this online. Yes, absolutely. Do some research. Do it yourself. Go check your cleaning products that you may have. And if you don't know what the ingredients are, look up the ingredients online and and you can look up dangers of and then put that ingredient in. If there's mm-hmm. no dangers, it will tell that. Right. But if there are, it will also list those and what they are. Right. So you can do this research yourself. It's very simple. Um, we're just trying to help you get a kickstart on it. Right. So ethanolamines. <laughs> Ethan- I was going to say. Ethan- if- ethanolamines. That's it. E- ethanolamines. Yeah. You know, it's not a word that you say all the time. Yeah, ethanol, though. Uh, what does that sound like? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in the gas. Mm hmm. Yeah. So it dissolves dirt and grease and helps blend other ingredients. Yeah. Actually, you know, sometimes so. you can use like, uh, it's like paint thinner. Yeah. Also, probably has right. ethanol in it because it helps get rid of bad yeah, stuff so, like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah. it's linked to organ system toxicity. Oh. <laughs> Hold bio, your breath when you're filling up your car. Accumulation, <laughs> even cancer. Yeah. And it's found in many household products and personal care products. So the yeah. personal care means like what you rub on your skin, your lotions, right. your face washes, your body washes. Well, you know, too, when you use like paint thinner, uh, you want to be in a well-ventilated area because they right. don't want you breathing all that in. Right. And then you use it to like take the paint off right. of your skin yeah. when uh. you use an oil-based paint. Yikes. Okay. Triclosan is used to reduce or prevent bacterial contamination. And the FDA even banned it in antiseptic washes hmm. because it is um, bad for you and it can cause 
and it can affect the thyroid, the endocrine system. But it is still found in some toothpaste, cosmetics, kitchen, um, kitchenware, clothing, furniture, and toys. Ugh. Toys for kids. So you want to avoid triclosan. And then uh, fragrance. Have you heard, you know, at church or school or different places like hospitals and healthcare places, don't wear fragrances? Don't wear fragrances, yeah. And why? Why shouldn't you wear fragrances? Someone's allergic to them, right? So what does that tell you about them? They're probably not very good. If, if people are reacting to them right. and the, it's giving them a hard time to breathe or some people have to leave if they get around a fragrance. So that, you can tell, it's toxic. Right. It's toxic to people. Also, fragrance is kind of one of those generic uh, words that can be used for a lot of different things, I believe. Exactly. That's true. Kind of hide your chemical in the word fragrance. It is. Um, companies do not have to disclose what is in a fragrance because it's considered a trade secret. Mm-hmm. So they can just put fragrance there. It can have 100 chemicals. Mm-hmm. They don't have to say what they are. And you don't know. So if you are seeing the word fragrance, avoid that product. Right. Because it's most likely toxic. Uh, The chemicals in many fragrances have been linked to cancer, reproductive and developmental toxicity. That's like birth defects, um, allergies and sensitivities. So that's what I love about Young Living is instead of using fragrances in their products, they use essential oils. Yes, which have wonderful fragrances. Yeah. I mean, wonderful smells. Right. And they're natural compounds. Yeah. Well, you know how much you like going out and smelling a flower. Yes. Right? Love or it. Or other things that, yes. like pine trees. Don't you love the smell oh, of pine trees? I do. It smells so good. I love yeah. imagining myself up in the woods. Yes, walking for sure. Through all those trees. Oh, love it. So those are just a few of the um, ingredients okay. we want to avoid. All right. And do read your labels and go check out your cupboards like today. Go look in your cupboard, see what's in there. Look at the back of the bottle. In fact, they don't even have a lot of the ingredients on the bottles anymore because they have so many. So you can Google it online. Look at your your cleaning product of whatever kind it is or personal care product and look for the ingredients. You can search those ingredients online and then look up the particular yeah, ones. And in most cases, if you can't pronounce it, it's probably bad for you. <laughs> That's a good rule of thumb, right? In general, yeah, but not 100%. But, uh, but we've got good news. Yes, good After news. all that bad news. <sighs> yes, we need good um, news. You won't find any of those ingredients in the Young Living products. Awesome. And especially we're going to talk about the thieves line, right? Because that is like our cleaning line. It's um, there's no artificial dyes or harsh chemicals or synthetic fragrances, which is fantastic. Right. So it is safe for you. It's safe for children, babies, mm-hmm. pets of all kinds. Um, so that's what I love. Yes. About um, about Young Living and about the thieves stuff Mm -hmm. they want it to be healthy right so thieves don't you love that name thieves (laughs) (sighs) gonna rob you of all the chemicals so the name was based on these uh, 15th century french thieves who formulated and wore a special aromatic combination of clove cinnamon bark rosemary and vinegar and other botanicals which they believe provided protection when they were stealing. Mm. That's why it's called thieves. Right. It wasn't that during the plague and people were, you know, dying all over the place. Yeah, they were robbing people that were sick and dying, and then they were protecting themselves with these particular yeah. herbs, and they were caught, then um, offered a lesser punishment if they would divulge their secrets of their immunity mm-hmm. to the king. Yes. Despite being exposed to this highly infectious, deadly disease. And so apparently they did. Mm-hmm. Obviously they did because yeah. we, we know about it. Um, and so Young Living has created this blend based on that 
um, with clove, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus radiata, rosemary, and lemon essential oils. And it kind of smells like Christmas. It does. It's a very nice smell. It very really pleasant. is. And, and there's, again, like you were saying, there's so many different Thieves products because it's a whole product line. Yes. There's, yes. Um, yeah, the cleaning stuff. There's the stuff you can use to help your wellness. There's the laundry stuff. There's the kitchen stuff. I mean, there's lots. Right, right. Cough drops and yep. mints, mm-hmm. all those kind of things. And then it's all backed by the Young Living Seed to seal quality commitment. Mm-hmm. So choosing the right seeds to grow so you get the right essential oils, yes. the right variety. And then um, they're grown on farms that are corporately owned and carefully vetted partner farms that you can visit. And so just mm-hmm. check with the farm before you go so you they're not closed or something on that day or having a private event. Um, but they use sustainable farming and sourcing practices. Mm-hmm. So you get the purest oil. They preserve and protect natural resources. And they aim to replant and grow and uh, just protect it so there is always those plants available for everyone. Um, they use zero use of pesticides. Mm. And um, many places are hand weeded. So they really take care of the environment. Um, They use food grade distillers and state of the art distillation methods, low pressure, low temperature distillation, no use of solvents or synthetic chemicals, and then rigorous testing on every single batch of essential oil. And it's also tested by third parties. So that if it doesn't meet the standard, it doesn't have the um, quality constituents or has any contamination, it is not sold. Right. And well, so and just, that seed to seal is another uniqueness right. of Young Living. And, right. you know, we could get more and more into their farming practices. There's so much behind that. But just know that that's behind the whole thieves line as well. Yeah. And right. you can go to seed to seal dot com. Mm-hmm. To just learn a little bit more about that. Yeah. We'll put a link to that in the show notes. You know, I think what we're going to have to do, because we want to talk about some of the specific Thieves products. Uh, we talked about there's the cleaning products, there's the laundry products, the kitchen products, the personal care products. Uh, but I think we're going to do that in another episode. I just want to introduce the household cleaner. Okay. Just so That's that fine. people know about that. Okay. And, and um, it is such a good wonderful product Mm -hmm. it's a beloved product and uh it's so cost effective so versatile yeah uh, very concentrated very yes it comes um like in a 14 ounce and you can get 28 bottles of organic cleaner (laughs) from that it's It's less than a dollar a bottle of cleaner and so can clean bathrooms kitchens cabinets counters furniture toys glass mirrors walls (laughs) we've used it on literally everything in our house the carpets clothes as well yes and i've never had any problems with it yeah you know i think what we should do as a i'm just springing you this on you right now but (laughs) i think for someone who goes to our website huntforwellness.com but episode number 79 uh and would like a little gift uh if you purchase the thieves cleaner we've got a little gift bag to go along with that that helps you make it go along a much longer way and uh you know maybe a little spray bottle and some things like that could we do that we could do that okay but we're not going to tell anybody else anywhere it's only if you've made it this far into the podcast (laughs) and you go over that podcast page or maybe you're on it right now uh just uh, in fact all you have to do is click uh click the um blue connect button over at hunt for wellness and say hey i want that special thieves deal and uh we've got that for you so uh what do you think about that yeah and we do have, I do have a label that mm-hmm. I can give to people yeah. to put on their spray bottle. You can use a glass or a plastic spray bottle. And directions on how to mix it all up and everything, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah it sounds really good. So so it's, it's fantastic. So I encourage you to swap out those toxic mm. household cleaners for the thieves household cleaner oh the thieves household cleaner is the best it smells good and it smells good it's good for you i mean uh, just think about you know i've seen presentations before when you spray a regular uh, cleaner on a cutting board maybe that had some meat on it so you want to 
use the cleaner to get the meat off and but you get the meat off but you have the bad cleaner on there so the next time you go to use it and you put something on there that bad cleaner is all of a sudden in your food it is and that's not good no so and definitely you want a very healthy and good cleaner in the kitchen even if that's all you do to start yeah that's, you know, a that's great usually start. where we say you know start there because that's gonna you're gonna have great benefit from that yes anything else before we wrap up on this episode just check out your cleaners in your cupboard yep. and check out those ingredients and yep. if you're not happy with them swap it out to the thieves household cleaner yes and this episode of hunt for wellness brought to you by waterdistillers.com great machines that produce great water that let out those vocs by the way mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, for your great wellness check it out waterdistillers.com and then our next podcast episode we're going to come clean kind of tie yeah. in. We'll go into a little more depth on some of the products uh, that use thieves because it really will take some time to, there's so many of them. Right. Right. So yes. come back for our next episode. That would be podcast number 80 uh, right here. Hunt.